Assalamu alaikum friends in this video i will explain you the step by step process how to create a mobile responsive navigation menu bar using html css and javascript on small screen size a side menu appears from the right side when user clicks on the menu button so guys let's start today's video and keep watching First of all write html code the nav tag is specially used to create navigation and div with class logo this will use to create logo and another div with class nav links inside this div we will create our menu items an order list and inside this list inside the anchor tags i created the menu items first menu items is home second items is about then next is services and next item is contact and at the end i created a login button with type of button and the text of this button is login and this is the output of html code now i am going to write the css code first link the css file with html by using the link tag now first select all the html element with star and set the padding and the border of all the html page zero and box sizing is border box next target the whole body of the html now i set i am going to set the background color with a function linear gradient to right this will create a grad gradient from left to right and the third argument is rgba color set any value any four values of rgba color function and i am going to create a second color rgba and write four values first three values are color values and the fourth values is the opacity of the color and this is the color no i am going to set the background image you have to write the image name with extension this will create a background image to gradient now set the background image properties background size is cover background attachment is fixed and set the color to white all the text color is white let's set the font family i set the font family fira sans and sans serif next i'm going to target the nav html tag the width of the navigation menu is 100% and the height i am going to set the 80 pixel let's set the display flex this will create the side by side two element justify content to create space between them and equal space between the element and create padding top bottom 35 pixel and left right 5% to the whole navigation bar now i am going to target the logo inside the navigation menu the font size of the logo text is 30 pixels and set the font weight is 700 you can also insert an image here logo image now i am going to target the unorder list inside the nav element display flex and this style type none 
this will create a list in single line next target the list items each list item inside the unordered list set the padding 8 pixel top bottom and 15 pixel left right this will create a space between list items border radius 10 pixels and transition 3.2 second this will effect when we create a hover effect on these list items let's target the anchor tags inside the list items set the color of the list items white and font size 18 pixel font weight is 500 text decoration is none to remove the underline now let's style this button inside the navigation menu let's target the button inside the level nav links class nav links and the button name at the padding of button 2 pixel top bottom and 20 pixel inside left right set the border radius to 10 pixel and color of the text is blue and font size 16 pixel set the border style none and here is the button let's set some font weight to 700 and let's create some space to left space between lab links and button now i am going to target the list items and create a hover style on the menu items let's set the background color to blue or any color you want set the color values this will create a mouse hover effect a background color now i am going to create a toggle menu button let's search the hamburger menu html unicode this code will use in html copy this code and create a span html element with the class of menu button and paste this code inside this span element this is the toggle hamburger menu now let's some style the hamburger menu i want font size is 30 pixel and font weight is bolder and cursor position is pointer now here, here we go first of all i want to set the display none i don't want display the hamburger menu at this time now i'm going to create responsive navbar in css let's use media queries add media screen and maximum width is 600 pixel when the screen size is less than 600 pixel i want to display this hamburger menu button display flex and i at this time i want to disappear all the navigation links display none css property let's check and this is the disappearance of name links now i am going to create a responsive side navigation menu bar when user clicks on the menu button let's start a class with side menu and an id of side nav inside this div and create an anchor tag with class close button and i am going to create a close button inside this site nav search the cancel button html unicode 
this is the code of the cancel button copy this code and place this code inside the anchor tag now we are going to create a side menu items inside the anchor tags each menu items contain inside the anchor tags and the last item is the button and here we go now I am going to style this side menu to appear from the right side height is 100% set the position to fixed top 0 and right is 0 I want appear this to from right side background color is set any background color of your choice overflow x hidden I don't want from the overflow transition 0.3 second is in and here is the output set the display block and padding top 60 pixels next I'm going to target all the anchor tags inside the side side nav set the pop padding 8 pixels and 40 pixels display block and here font size 25 pixels color is set any color and transition is 0.3 seconds here are the output I'm going to set text decoration none no style this button below site nav target the button HTML tag I want to set the same button style as I have set before and let's add some padding top bottom no I am going to add hover effect on these menu items set the color of the hover effect white now I am going to target the close button the position of the close button is absolute top 10 pixel and right is 25 pixels and font size is 20 pixels margin left is 50 pixels first of all I am going to set the nav side nav display none first of all hidden now I am going to activate the menu button using some basic javascript code script tag inside script tag create a new function with the name open nav documents dot get element by id and paste the id of side nav dot add some style dot width is equal to 50 percent when user will click on the menu button this function will be execute and the side menu will be open with the width of 50 percent from the right side now i want to make the side menu display block on the mobile screen here we go this is the output now i am going to make the close button functional let's create an other function change the function name to close nav and set the width to 0% when user will click on the close button this function will execute on click and here is the output and navigation bar when we decrease the screen size the hamburger menu will appear and this is the output our final output